Hey guys, I now have the M702 model in my hands and I wanted to show you two things how to uh, change the font size and do bookmarking so let's start off with changing the font size so as you can see we have the font here um, well the book and as you can see at the top right we have an icon that looks like a bunch of lines if you hit that icon you see the menu below come up go to font size now right now it's currently in Excel if you want to go make it smaller or bigger you can do that by just selecting let's say medium and go OK now change it there you go now you can see it's gotten smaller okay so now if you want to add a bookmark you go back to that icon at the top right with the lines press that Whoops menu pops up you go to bookmarks add bookmark give it a title um, we'll call it yes one go ok add bookmark success and that's how you add a bookmark and again if you want to go back to that bookmark you hit the menu, go bookmarks, show bookmarks, yes one, and it'll take you that page. Mind you, we're already on that page, but yeah, that's basically the idea. Alright guys, so let's say now you want to set up your wireless connection so you can get on the internet. So all you got to do is you see this little arrow here, pull it up, or just hit it, and it'll come up, and then you'll have a bunch of your options, and you go to settings right here hit settings and then you'll see now a bunch of your options so if you go to wireless and networks right now we're connected to our, our, our current wireless connection but if you go to Wi-Fi settings okay and it will it should automatically detect the current your current um, wireless networks around you once you click on the wireless network then you can add your password and uh, get you into the network and then you should be fine okay now to change the date and time on your e-reader you go back to the menu go to settings and then go to date and time and it will take you to the date and time and you can go set time uh, select time zone you can change it right here or go to set date, change it right here, and then you should be good to go. All right, so the last thing I want to show you guys is how to do a factory reset on your e-reader. So say the e-reader has, um, you know, is not playing a song, or it's not loading a book properly. Um, you can you can restore the e-reader by doing a factory reset. Now by doing that, you hit the menu button again here, the below one. Go to settings and you'll see privacy if you hit privacy you'll see here a factory data reset if you hit that this erases all data on the device and it resets the whole thing and that's how you do a factory reset